Hi everybody, I'm actually going to be sharing a Facebook post that I wrote because it seemed to really resonate and I just want to totally be open to how the Lord might use it. So today I'm going to have a little time of prayer and share that uh, post uh, in a video format. So as many of you know, uh, I've been blessed to be on hundreds of radio and TV programs ever since I wrote a book when I was 15. And so I'm very well acquainted and very blessed to have been able to travel extensively throughout our country. We have a beautiful country. I am so thankful for every person who has served our military. And we need to pray for God to lead our leaders, no matter how we feel. And I wrote this Facebook post after having a discussion with someone at one of my own medical appointments, actually. And uh, it just was really on my heart, so here we go. Rather than just blaming sides, America needs to welcome God inside. We desperately need Him for us to heal and to move forward in peace and hope. We must repent from sin. Yes, I used that word. And rely on God's Son, Jesus Christ. Loving God and every neighbor begins with individuals turning from sin and turning to Christ. Now, no one can force faith. It's between each person and Christ himself. Pray for him to draw us to himself. We must not look down on others, but we must look up to him. We all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of our awesome, holy God. We all need him desperately. We individually need to be so willing to welcome him into every aspect of our lives that the hatred fades away as we repent and experience his loving, awesome, holy presence. Pray for that to happen. Pray for that for yourself, as I do for myself. Pray for that for our leaders, and yes, the media. Pray for revival and another great awakening. Yes, rather than just blaming sides, America needs to welcome Christ inside. You see, as we welcome Christ inside, we welcome him to do his work his way. And wow, do we ever need that today. When people's hearts are changed by the Lord, when they receive him, eternal destinations change and behaviors are changed. Policies are changed and a culture is changed. John three sixteen through 17 says, For God so greatly loved and dearly prized the world that he even gave his one and only begotten Son, so that whoever believes and trusts in him as Savior, as Savior, shall not perish but have eternal life. For God did not send the Son into the world to judge and condemn the world, that is, to initiate the final judgment of the world, but that the world might be saved through him. Will you join me in a, a word of prayer? Let's just pray from our hearts to the Lord together. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your love. We thank you, thank you, thank you that you sent Jesus to die in our place on the cross bearing the punishment for our sins. We repent of our sins. We are so sorry for our sins as a country. And we welcome you, Lord Jesus, to rule and reign in our hearts. Take over, Lord. Lord, we pray for our leaders, that you would lead them, whether they realize it or not, that you would lead them, that you would protect our military, that you would bless our veterans, that you would draw all of us to yourself. We pray for our churches. We pray that you would just really move in our churches, in our pastors. We pray for them, that you would just encourage them to share the truth with love and not, not compromise. 
Help us, Lord, to love every neighbor, not to see people for their physical appearance, but to love them like you love them. And we realize we cannot do that unless you do something mighty in our country today. So, Lord, we just submit ourselves to you. We pray for deliverance from evil. And we pray for all those who are listening to this right now, that you would move in their lives and their prayer requests that are on their hearts. We pray for all prayer requests sent to praying pals. We pray for your will in every way. And we welcome you, Lord Jesus, to do a mighty work in our country and in every country of those listening. I know that we have international listeners as well. Thank you, Lord. We bless your name. We look to you. Please deliver us and help us to share your truth with love and not compromise. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for all our blessings. And again, please bless our leaders, guide them, and draw our people back to you. In Jesus' name, amen. If you have any prayer requests, feel free to share them. Uh, you can certainly join us at Praying Pals on social media and also prayingpals.org. And remember that no matter what, Jesus said, I am with you always. And that includes right now. So stay strong, share the truth with love, and not a shove. <laughs>